Hi everyone, it's Jordan from Balan Brands and I'm going to show you how to very quick and easily design really high quality looking Facebook ads when you don't have any design skills. So that's something that I struggle with. I'm not a very good designer, not good in Photoshop, really don't know how to work my way around Photoshop or Illustrator. But you know, as you can see here, and, and probably from examples that you've seen on Facebook, it's really important to have a high quality looking image on your Facebook ad. So how do you really quick and dirty and easily create a Facebook ad image that looks like a nice design, catches people's attention, and then can be used and, and manipulated and easily uploaded without taking up too much of your time or costing you an arm and a leg for a design firm to do something. So I just want to show you really quick a couple of really cool tools that I use um, and, and how I do that. So let's uh, get started here. The first tool that I use is actually PowerPoint, believe it or not. PowerPoint is an awesome way to really quick and easily create Facebook ads, especially when you're on a time crunch, especially when you just want something really plain and simple. So I'm going to show you a quick example here. What I usually do is I'll just open up a new slide. Um, open up PowerPoint, open up a new slide, delete everything so there's no text box or anything like that. And what I do is I start with inserting the image that I want. So we're going to just insert the image of the sample house. And I just pulled this from the internet. Okay, so and, and don't be afraid to go outside the lines, go outside the boxes because we're just going to take a screenshot of this when we're done. So you just want to upload that image. And then I just like to center it, make it nice and big because we're going to take a screenshot of it. We want it to be high resolution. And then um, what's awesome about PowerPoint and why I use PowerPoint instead of Word or, um, you know, even those like online Photoshop alternatives is because PowerPoint is really super simple. And you can do awesome things like adding text boxes and adding different shapes and sizes and images on images and drag them around. It's really, really easy to use. So... I'm just going to add a box here and I'll copy it, just copy and paste and I'll add another box here, I'll make it a little bit bigger and then maybe I'll do um, a little text box here, if I can find the text box, there it is. Okay, I'm going to add a text box and I'm going to put... Um, Let's me click into the text box and we'll put open house and make this bigger, obviously. So I'm just kind of going to run through a quick example here. Okay, open house, awesome. Copy and paste that text box to over here, make it bigger. We'll say December 3rd. <clears throat> and then obviously, we want to make these lines go away so I'm gonna go to design and we're gonna remove the outline and remove that outline there we go there's a decent looking Facebook ad and then I just like to take a screenshot and voila we can use that as a Facebook ad so if you want to do something that's a little bit more exciting and, and more attractive than this, you certainly can. Um, a tool that I like to use is called Canva. So Canva is free to use and set up and then to download some of the designs after you make them. Sometimes it could cost money you'll, you'll need a membership. But again, you can just take screenshots and they won't be quite as high quality, but they'll get the job done for Facebook ads. So it's C-A-N-V-A, -A, Canva. Right here, you can see it. So they actually already have, they make it super easy, some social media related um, uh, designs already there for you. So I'm going to click on one that I like. So let's see if we can find a cool looking one that would be good for Facebook. And they actually have, you know, ebook covers and stuff like that as well. Um, pulled one up before. So where did it go? Let's see if we can do this one. Here, good one right there. Okay, awesome. So I could see this being a Facebook ad. So again, really easy to use. You don't have to know Photoshop or anything like that. You just go into this 
and you can start editing. So it's pretty counter, or it's not counterintuitive, it's pretty intuitive. You can go in here and just kind of click around and start learning how to mess with things. So I'm gonna double click on this, click off of it, click on, now I can edit it, I can drag it around, I can move it. So obviously we're not gonna want that. So I'm gonna go into elements. Actually, I'm gonna delete this picture first, delete the image. And I'm going to insert an uploaded image. So I uploaded that house. And there we go. You can just see how easy it just kind of knew what I was trying to do there. And drag it up. And we're just going to edit this. We're going to say open house. And here we're going to say December 3rd. And we're going to say RSVP, RSVP here. Boom. There we go. Now I just take a screenshot. Again, another decent looking Facebook ad. I would say a really good looking Facebook ad. One that really stands out and just looks better than, than just the real estate. Now, obviously, if I had more time, I'd probably inch this down a little bit so you can see the whole house. But again, you could just tell that this would be a good looking Facebook ad. Um, so if you really want to get fancy and you really want to do something really high quality and you're willing to pay a little bit of money and wait a day or two, there's another website that I've used before called Fiverr.com. And here you can find designers from all over the world, there's a lot of places like in India and Bangladesh and the Philippines, who will actually create Facebook ads for you. They'll do the design for you just for like five to ten bucks. So if you really don't want to do any kind of designing by yourself, you can certainly use someone else and outsource it for really affordably. But again, instead of just having the picture of a house, you can have something that looks a lot more interesting and clickable. And again, I would I would change how this is scaled, but you get what I'm saying there. And you can just design it in a couple of minutes, take a screenshot, throw it up, and do different variations. So that is my cool, quick, and easy way to create designs for Facebook ads.